I don't know where Tinubu is, Kayamo. So, you know, the next working against Peter will be presidential bid. Government is then going to cement facts over alleged tax invasion. I don't know where Chinubu is, Kayamo. The spokesperson of the Up Progressive Congress Campaign Council, Festus Kayamo, has said he is unaware of the current location of the party's presidential candidates, Bola and Chinubu. Kayamo said this during an interview on the 9th of Wednesday, October 5th, 2022. The former Lagos state governor, Chinubu, has been out of the country for over a week with his location remaining undisclosed, sparking insinuations that he had been flown out of the country for an urgent medical attention. He posted a video on his Twitter page on Sunday, October 2nd, 2022, wherein he can be seen riding his spiny bike to prove his fitness. However, that did lead to, to convince many doubts, as well have continued to insinuate that the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate is being treated for a serious ailment. Reacting to the development, Kayamo dismissed the speculations that Shinobu had travelled out of the country to seek medical attention. He heard that those who have raised concerns over Shinobu's whereabouts are only mischief makers, adding that nobody makes a fuse when the People's Democratic Party al Aji Atiku Abubakar travels to Dubai. Kayamo specifically says that Shinobu is not in the country currently and doesn't have any information on where exactly he is. Toledo denies working against Peter Obi's presidential bid. Janambra State Governor Professor Chukma Solidi has denied the allegations that he's plotting against the presidential bid of the Labour Party candidate Mr. Peter Obi. Solidi's denial came amid growing speculations that he had informed members of his political party, the Up Progressive Grand Alliance, APCA, to mobilize against Obi in the 2023 general elections. According to the report in some publications, Solidu charged Anambra Abgar to work against Obi at the post because it was not in the admission of presidency after Atikpa Bubaka. In a statement issued in Akwa on Wednesday, October 5, 2022, Solidu's first secretary, Christian Aburimi, debunked the allegation saying that at no point during the meeting was Obi a point of discourse. Aburimi's statement read in part, We know to distinct the fallacious and distasteful publications of the rights of the above hidden by faceless individuals. We would have chosen to ignore this mischievous report but for the benefit of a few innocents in Diaraba who could be misinformed by the right of. The following should, however, be noted that Governor Chukman Soludu only held a private meeting with his members of the ABGA. This meeting is a routine gathering where issues concerning ABGA have been discussed. At some time during the meeting was Mr. Peter Obi a point of discourse. It is pertinent to note that the issues discussed at the meeting were purely issues relating to ABGA affairs. We therefore urge in the Anambra and members of the general public to completely ignore and disregard the publications in all its entirety. Government seals Dangote cement facts over alleged tax evasion. The Kogi State Internal Revenue Service has sealed Dangote cement facts in Obajana, Kogi State. According to reporters on ground, the Kogi State Internal Revenue Service sealed the company on Wednesday, October 15, 20, over tax evasion and acquisition controversy. The action was reportedly backed by the Kogi State House of Assembly. Kingsley Fanwo, who is the Kogi State Commissioner for Information, was quoted as saying, pursuant to the constitutional authorities of the Kogi State House of Assembly and upon petition by the people of Kogi State, an investigation was carried out on the acquisition of Obajana Cement Company by Dangote Company. It was found that no valid acquisition took place as Dangote could not show evidence of what was paid as consideration for the acquisition. The legislators invited the chairman of the company, Aliko Dangote, before the House for explanations but he failed to appear before the state assembly giving excuses. The House of Assembly therefore ordered the closure of the company, pending when they are able to present it with credible evidence of a valid acquisition. That is all we have on our headlines to be as wisdom we had online TV. I am Odeli Kimufu.